Blessings, good fortune, light and love. Welcome to our 13 moon meditation. So happy to be here with you this evening. My name is D'Angelis Colomb, and I am the host of Metaphysical Communion, a weekly metaphysical series that is seen uh, on Zoom, Facebook Live, and the new YouTube channel entitled, fittingly, Metaphysical Communion. So for this evening, to end the year 2020, we're going to do a 13 moon meditation. This is a way to welcome the new year clean, healthy, and bright. But before that, we want to release, remove, and get rid of all negative aspects that we may be carrying with us still throughout this most incredible year. I do not have to go into explanations what that means. So what we're going to do is we're going to focus on the power of the cosmos. We are going to do a major meditation with all of the resources and the light that the moon has to offer us. We just had our full moon last night in Cancer, our final full moon of the year. A very emotional moon at that, since it is falling in the sign of Cancer, which also happens to be the moon's zodiological or astrological home. So a lot of emotion that has been held in is being released. This incredibly stressful year that we've endured culminates with this particular 13th moon of this year. So it is an excellent time to release, to let out any pent up feelings of negativity bad emotions, hostilities, anger, sorrow, rage, hatred, anxiety, fear from your system. The planets have been a major component this year in what's been going on with the year 2020. Of course, we do know about the pandemic. Obviously the whole world is still grandly affected you know by it and we're still going to have some effects to come into the new year of 2021 but there is light and there is hope finally coming with a new vaccine that more and more people are starting to be able to you know, take and hopefully in six months time the majority at least of the united states will be able to be vaccinated against the dread covid 19 a virus. That is a turn for the better. And more to come, for I feel that that vaccine will still be improved and there'll be a stronger you know, more help available you know, for all of us in combating the virus. But enough about that. We're here to do a meditation you know, in order to release, remove, bring in the good elements positive energy, hope into our minds, body, and spirit. We are going to use the power of the 13 moons. And yes, this year we had 13 moons. Usually, of course, it's one full moon per month. But this being 2020 is so special, obviously, you know, things haven't happened in the usual way. We've had a lot of astrological changes in power come upon us with this particular year as well. Some of those elements have made it a bit difficult, but at the same time, they've, a lot of those elements have made it very strong and helpful to us as well, so that we could navigate you know, through the difficulties, through the fear, strengthen and galvanize us at a time that it was needed the most to get through you know, the darker periods that we have all, you know, been through. As we know, with the United States in particular, we had a lot of 
major things happened, especially, first of all, in the Eastern seaboard of the United States, when the virus really seemed to hit the strongest, and in particular, New York City, as we know from the spring, was the epicenter you know, for the virus for at least two months or so. Not a good experience at all, and that's putting it extremely mildly. But we got through it. Now, unfortunately, the epicenter seems to be more in the West Coast, and in particular, California is being hit the hardest right now. So we must also send light and good intentions and energy of healing you know, to that side of the continent and all other areas throughout the world that are experiencing uprisings in this terrible virus as well now as the new variant that is making itself known in this country as of yesterday. So we want to diffuse you know, that experience from blowing up into something more with more trouble ahead for us. So we're going to focus and capitalize on all of those energies to help us focus on those particular areas where healing is needed the most. So we're going to, again, call upon the cosmos, the planets, the energies that are above us to be our guide and to assist us in this particular meditation. So we will begin. And what I'd like you to do is to focus into the heavens and just with your mind's eye, gaze out into the universe and look upon all of the planets, see them in your imagination, in your third eye, start visualizing them. Visualize the cosmos, see all the millions of stars and heavenly bodies that make up the universal family. Be embraced you know, by the universe and by the cosmos. The beautiful colors, the brilliant lights, the amazing anomalies that are out there. See them all through your third eye. Meld with the universe. Make yourself as one. Now, from there, just sit comfortably in your chair. Feet firmly on the ground. Place your hands on your lap. Any way that is comfortable is fine. And I will guide you through this meditation. When you are done, you will be feeling refreshed, revitalized, and much lighter. With a sense of hope and purpose for the new year. My name is DeAngelis Colon. I am the host of Metaphysical Communion. I also am a psychic, spirit intuitive. And I will connect you with these energies. Follow my voice. Follow as I give you the instructions that you need to go into this meditation. Relax yourself fully and completely as much as you can. Your breathing is normal but rhythmic. And we will travel into the light. So be comfortable. Close your eyes. And as always with all meditations, you are going to do three cleansing breaths. We begin. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Release all the tensions that you feel. Release all tensions in your bones, in your tendons. Feel the circulation of your blood starting to relax. Your nerve endings starting to relax. Feel your breathing naturally become more rhythmic. 
and peaceful. Lull yourself gradually into a feeling of relaxation and calm. See a tremendous white light, a brilliant white light above the crown of your head shine down upon you from the heavens. Let this most brilliant light rain upon you, cascade down from the sky to the top of your head. Feel its light warmth and brilliance come all around you. Feel it come down through the front of your face and through the back of your head. Relax and loosen all tensions, all worries, all concerns, mind, body, and spirit. Let this light touch upon your shoulders. Feel the relaxation around your neck, the back of your neck. Feel your shoulders gently melt into relaxation. Feel this amazing light come down your arms, your elbows, your lower arms, your wrists, your hands, your fingers, and out through the tips of your fingers. Feel the light flow gently, beautifully, outwardly. Relax all tensions and all worries as it goes. See and feel this white light come down upon your chest, upon your upper back, down to your navel area, down to your pelvis, down to your mid back and lower back, down to your sides. Feel this white light gently flow down beautifully with a light warmth. Gently as it caresses you into calm. Loosen, loosen all tensions, all worries. The white light now comes upon your pelvic area, front and back, down through your hips, down through your buttock area, down through your frontal pelvic area. Release all tensions in these areas. Let it flow like a river a river of light flowing down, down, down in relaxation, in tranquility. See the white light come down through your thighs, front and back, down through your knees, down through your lower legs. Relax, relax all tensions, relax your bones, relax your tendons. Relax the muscles. Feel the light take all of your worry, your troubles away. See and feel the light down to your ankles. Release all tensions from those areas. Down to your heels. Release all worries, all suffering, all trauma. Feel the white light at the top of your feet and feel it going down to the bottom of your souls. Release all tensions, all worries, all troubles. And like a beautiful river flowing, feel the tensions, see the light flow to your toes and outwardly, outwardly from your feet. Feel that trickle of water of watery light coming out through your toes. Release all those tensions, all those worries, all those preoccupations, all those troubles. Out, out, out through your toes, out through your feet. Release all and any leftover tension you may have in anywhere in your body. Release all of it at this time and out through your feet. Let the ground take all of your worries, all of your troubles, all of your fears, 
Let the ground take everything. Let Mother Gaia, Earth, take all of your worries. Let Mother comfort you, embrace you in her love. And let her take all of your worries and dissolve them from your mind, body, and spirit. So let it be. You are seated on a marble floor. As you gaze, you see that this marble floor belongs to an open air temple with beautiful white columns surrounding but open space, open air. When you look up, you see the night sky, beautiful and brilliant. Around you, you are laying on this marble floor in circular fashion. You are seated on pillows, golden and red pillows ornate with tassels in the middle of this circle on this marble floor. As you look to the marble floor, you see that you're sitting in the middle of a design. The design is the wheel of the zodiac carved in the marbleized floor. You see all the intricacies of this symbol that you sit upon, all 12 signs represented, all decanates, all elements, all lines separating each sign by their 30 degrees. You see the planets inscribed for each sign You are at the center of this wheel. You relax in comfort. It is night. You look outward from the temple. You see you are high on the pedestal of this floor on the temple. You look out, you see in the night, surrounded in a giant garden, a large space, there are trees, there's grass outside of the temple circle. You feel the cool night air and the gentle breeze. You look up to the heavens and you see the brilliant night sky. And as you look, you see stars, stars everywhere. Brilliant, beautiful, shining brightly. Gaze up further and you will see our dear friend, the beautiful moon, bright and full and shining at its zenith. The moon is full and shines upon you with its love and light. This moon, the 13th moon of the year, holds all the power, all the energy of its predecessors from this year. For this moon, this special moon, is the last one of the year. Exceedingly bright, exceedingly lovely. In the sign of Cancer, the sign of emotions, the sign of water, the sign of sensitivity. Tap into that energy, gaze upon the moon and ask for guidance and be embraced by its light and love. The full moon is in its feminine element, signaling the beginning of a new era and a new age 
upon the earth. Feel the old, ancient, wise energy that this moon provides to you. Feel all of the previous full moons and their energy and light. Feel the eclipses that have taken place this year. All six eclipses, lunar three and solar three, with our last eclipse being just in December 14th. Feel that energy. Feel the power of three moons for each eclipse. Course through your system, course through your veins, through your muscles, through your body. Let it strengthen you, make you invincible. Feel a sense of positivity that you have not felt in years come through you with the magic and the power of the eclipses. Feel the blessings and the glory of the two full moons of October of this year. Feel the blessings of the first full moon on October 1st, the beginning of the month of the spiritual season in the year 2020, a most incredible year. Feel that love and that power once again come through to you, through to your mind, through to your eyesight. Let it lift and illuminate your third eye. Let it strengthen your psychism, your metaphysical abilities. Let it open, open your third eye. See the mystical, have the beauty of spiritual sight. Come down upon October 31st for the second full moon of the month. The final day of the month, the full moon, the hunter's moon, on the night of Samhain, of Halloween, a most rare and auspicious night. Feel the power of all 19 years since the last full moon in Halloween has fallen upon you. Feel the power of the blue moon as the second moon of the month strengthen you, enlighten you, open you, expand you, expand your energies, stretch beyond, be embraced by the light of the blue moon. Let it grant you its healing and its wisdom from the night most holy, the night of Samhain, the night of Celtic Halloween. Let the blessed of the Celtics smile upon you with their light and their energy. Let the gods and goddesses embrace you in their love, in their healing, let them embrace you with the power of the earth and the magic of their Celtic might. See the sword of might from ancient Celtics appear in your third sight, a beautiful sword with rubies, emeralds and diamonds at its hilt. A magnificent silver sword of tremendous power. Let this sword come toward you and let it tap you gently on your crown. You have been anointed by the gods and goddesses of the ancients and blessed in their holy light. They grant you peace. They grant you healing. They grant you power. 
they infuse you with their love and their light. Give thanks and blessings for this most auspicious gift. As the sword rises, rises into the heavens and goes back to its ancestral home in the dimensions of spirit. Receive the blessings of the highest occasion of all the planets and all their energies and their heavenly hosts. Let us move forward to the new moon of December. New beginnings are signaled here. For a new herald is approaching is soon to be here. The energies of change, the energies of the new, the Sagittarian moon heals you, heals you as the centaur, the wounded warrior, Kiran, heals you with love, wisdom, and freedom. Accept the gift. Sagittarius gives you. Express your gratitude. And off Sagittarius goes. We come upon the most grand occasion of all on December 21st. The astrological heavens bless us in this most incredible year. Everything has been designed as it should be, from the most difficult to the most glorious. The miraculous has appeared. For December 21st is the blessed winter solstice. And as the solstice begins, so does the planet Jupiter and the planet Saturn converge as they have not in 20 years and join at zero point. Receive their blessings, the grand Jupiter of expansion and growth, philosophy, wisdom, joy, happiness. And we receive the blessings of Saturn, the stern, the historian, the longevity, the grounded, the reality. We bring both of them together as they create a new era upon this world with their grand conjunction. We are also blessed by their conjunction with the most incredible of experiences of astrology and the zodiac. For they present this time after 800 years with the blessings of the great mutation. The great shift has begun for 800 years these two heavenly bodies have converged every 20 years in the element of earth. Now their time in earth has ended. Their time with Capricorn has come to a close. And now they move into a new element and we welcome the blessings of Aquarius and the blessings of the air and the blessings of its home, Uranus. We move out from the Saturnian energies 
with their heaviness and reality and groundedness, and we move into that of the Uranian light, of the air, of unity, of expansion, of genius, of society, of coming together, of working in union and expanding into the future. The most grand future awaits all of us. Have hope, have light, have peace. For we have entered, finally, the age of Aquarius. Genius, expansion, light, love, and beauty are upon us. Art, creation, innovation, belonging, unity, love, light, from earth and in heaven, we are blessed in its light. Welcome a new age, a new era, new epochs to come. Embrace them in your heart. Feel this energy come into your heart. Open, open, have no fear. Open, open like never before. Welcome, welcome. Welcome this into your heart and into your light. Have peace, have love, have blessings. Feel the harmony. Feel the love of the light. We are in a new age of endless possibilities. Infuse yourself with the light of joy, of hope, of aspiration. We come upon the moon of the 29th and its energy once again in cancer. Feel its love. Let it wash away your sorrows and your pains and your sufferings. Let this light heal you at this time. For this moon brings healing in sorrows. In sorrows for all of those who have been lost for this year. We remember all who have been lost this year. So many have been taken because of this tremendous cleansing that has been taking place on this world. Feel them in your heart, feel them in your mind. Feel them in your spirit. Look up to the heavens. Look up beyond the moon. Call upon them at this time. Call upon your loved ones who are now in the heavenly realms. For the doorway has opened and they are here. See them. Call upon them by name. Call upon them by your love. They are here. See them. See them before you. They've come to see you and to bless you in their light. Reach out to them. Speak to them. See them beautiful and healthy and restored. 
see them with great happiness and peace and love and light. Yes, they miss you. They miss you. But they are alive. They are alive and now they know. And they are here to reassure you that they know. Embrace them. Tell them everything you wish to tell them when they were still here. Tell them that you love them again. Say to them whatever you did not have a chance to say to them before they left to this plane. This is your time to rejoice with them in this light. Smile, have your tears of joy, have your tears of love. Release, release, let them take your tears in their hands and let them wash that away from you. They are here to help you heal. To heal your sufferings, to heal your sorrows, to heal your pain. Let them embrace you in their light. Let them love you and love them in return. Say to them, speak to them everything, and they will hear. Say everything, everything now. See your loved ones start to rise back to their heavenly home. They wish you love. They wish you blessings. They smile with such a light, such a light of warmth and love. You feel it upon you. You've never felt anything like this before. You feel the love that they are in now. You feel it. They wish that love upon you, and you will eventually feel that love and that light again when you rejoin them, when we all rejoin them once again in the heavenly light at home. See them go up, go up into the light once again as they smile and kiss you gently from their light. Blessings upon all. Blessings upon your light. Blessings upon your love. You're at the center of the temple. Be seated once again. Be seated in light 
and loving blessings. You are surrounded in the most beautiful light of spirit. Your spirit has been lifted, has been cleansed, has been healed. You are in light. Oh, holy blessings, you are at peace. Now, close your eyes once again as we begin to recede from this place and we come back to this life once again. Gently and slowly breathe in. Breathe out. As you feel yourself returning gradually, gently to this realm. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feel yourself returning to this space. Breathe in. Breathe out. As you return. When you are ready, slowly open your eyes. Come back comfortably and peacefully. Move your arms, your legs, your fingers, your toes. Return back gently, quietly and silently. Feel how calm, how light. See the light around you. Your aura is brilliant and bright. You have received the healing and blessings of spirit. Be joyous, blessed in gratitude, blessed in holy light. I do wish and hope that you have been able to see your loved ones and those in spirit and were able to reunite for a time with them and express everything to them that you wished and that they in return provided you their gift in whatever ways you received it. Carry that with you. Take that joy, take this freedom with you now into the new year. That is their gift and their blessings to you. Be happy, be in light. Feel the love. Feel everything. Feel your blessings. I do wish you a wonderful evening. Take your time gradually to return to this space and time. It's been a profound experience. It may take you a moment or two or more to feel more like yourself again, only better. <laughs> only like your true natural self. <laughs> I look up because I can still feel the light around me. I do wish you peace, joy, love, and light for the end of this year and for the beginning of the new. Be joyous for 2021 brings a lot of good things. Look at the positive and the good that is coming. We are in a new age, a new era, an era that's been long awaited for decades past, has been sung for years and years, has been anticipated by so many. We have experienced those changes throughout the decades. And now finally, with all its discomfort 
and pain and woe, but all its brilliance and illumination as well. We are here. Be blessed that you are alive at this time, for you are the first ones to experience this new age. We are gifted greatly with this, for not everyone who has been alive gets to experience this incredible joy that has fallen upon us. We are the pioneers. We are the first. We are the heralds of this new time. Let us carry it through wisely, effortlessly, yet with strength, power, confidence, and will to do good, to live in light, and be blessed by higher powers, eternal love. Blessings to all of you. Happy New Year. Love and light. And I will see you next year. Blessings. <laughs>